Oh, what's that? No, I'm, I'm just drinking more coffee. <laughs> Turkey has a huge culture of coffee and tea drinking that dates back centuries. It all started as a way for people to socialize and sit and chat. Now you can see coffee shops, tea houses, and cafes all over the place, and people drinking hot tea and coffee on practically every street corner. So today we're going cafe hopping, and we're going to see how the coffee and tea stacks up around Istanbul. Let's go. So we're at a little place just around the corner from where we're staying and we've ordered a coffee and a tea which have just arrived. So a lot of times the coffee is given with water which allows you to cleanse your palate and also rinse your mouth of any of the coffee grounds that you drink. So the reason I say this is because Turkish coffee is brewed in a really special way different than a lot of other coffees. So the coffee grounds, the water, and the sugar, if you so choose to have it with your coffee, are added together in a copper sesvi, and it's boiled all together, and it creates a really, really nice thick foam. And so then, this is just poured straight into your cup, no filter or anything like that. So the coffee that, when you drink it, actually has all the grounds within it, which gives it a really rich taste as well. So as you can see, there's a thick foam on top and so you get that from the boiling of the coffee grounds. So let's take a sip. Oh yeah, that's really good. So it's super strong because you have all the coffee grounds in it, but because of it as well, it gives it this kind of chocolatey taste as well that's really rich and kind of smooth and velvety, which is so different than any drip coffee or anything like that that you get in lots of other places in the world. So you can see why it's so popular and has been around for centuries like this. That's good. <laughs> so along with our coffee, we actually got a tea as well. And tea in Turkish is che or chai. And it's really popular in Turkey, just like coffee, if not more popular than coffee is here in Turkey and it's been reported that Turkey is the world's largest consumer of tea per capita so they really really like their tea here and you can see people in Turkey drinking tea all the time outside streets, uh, on the street, outside shops, in the shop and they drink tea because they say that it's supposed to ward off tiredness so that's why you see them people in Turkey drinking tea you know all the time at all hours of the day whether they're on break uh, from work or at work you see people serving uh, tea to people in different shops clothing shops any kind of shops so people here are always drinking tea the tea is actually served in this cool curved glass on a plate and the way it's served like this is so it makes it easier to serve people and the reason why the glass is clear is because it allows the person who's drinking the tea to admire the nice colors and the hue of the tea. And it's glass, so it also keeps it super, super hot, piping hot actually to the touch. So it's really convenient to have a tea like this. Tea is usually served with sugar cubes, so this particular restaurant or tea or cafe, sorry, has uh, sugar cubes in packages. So I'll just put one in because I don't really want too much sugar. And the tea here that they serve in Turkey is usually all a black tea, similar to a rose hip tea. Um, but all the tea here, usually like this traditional Turkish tea, is a black tea. Let's give it a try. And actually, like I said earlier, it's in this glass. And it's really, really hot to the touch. Yeah. So that tastes like your 
black tea that you'd normally drink. It's really, really hot. I definitely recommend having a little bit of sugar in there uh, unless you like super bitter tea. For three Turkish lira, it's about less than 50 cents Canadian. Having a tea every day with your meal for every meal is really not that expensive at all. And I, I can see why Turkish people drink this all, all the time. Overall, uh, we got Turkish coffee for six Turkish lira and the tea for three Turkish lira. So for nine lira, which is just over a dollar Canadian, it's pretty, pretty good. And it's a great little location on a busy street. Um, and really for that price, you could drink coffee and tea all day, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So we're continuing our journey and looking for another place to go. So we've arrived at our next place, Sisek Borek. And we're going to try the coffee and tea here and see what it's like. So our tea just arrived and I think we accidentally ordered a big tea. <laughs> mm. Yeah, really good. Again, similar to the last one I'd say, definitely bigger. Um, yeah, that's a nice hot tea. Nice black tea like the last one. The coffee here is 10 Turkish lira, so it's a little more expensive than the last place. <clears throat> so we wanted to see kind of how the tastes differ, if there is a big difference in taste, depending on the price. So you can see this one as well has the nice foam on top. So let's give it a taste. Piping hot, piping hot. Mm. That one's really good as well. You can taste the coffee grounds in there as well. Very strong, that little bit of sugar in it is really nice. Okay, so. Another cafe down. A little more sludge left in the coffee cup. And all in all, this cost us 15 Turkish lira, which isn't too bad, but a little more expensive than the last place. Taste-wise and everything, I'd say similar. Not a big difference for the price, but we are in a more busier area and we're getting into more and more busier places. So we'll see kind of how the prices compare from now on. We will head on out from this cafe to the next cafe and start walking or jittering our way to the next coffee shop. found another cafe. This one's called Cafe Aura. It looks like there's a table for us outside. And I really hope there's a bathroom because, I don't know, we've drank, what, three, four, five teas and coffees by now, so I kind of need to use the facilities. So hopefully they got a washroom inside. Because this place is a bit fancier, their coffee is about 16 lira. Not about, it is 16 lira. And Turkish coffee with milk is 18 lira. And the black tea is 8 lira. So it's a bit pricier than where we have been today. Maybe double, if not triple, for the tea. But we're gonna try it and see if the increase in price is an increase in quality or not. Thank you. All right, so our coffee and tea came. Looks like the coffee also came in these nice curved glasses. Again, really, really hot. So if they retain the heat really, really well, the glasses are a lot bigger than the other glasses that we've had at the previous places. So this time we got a Turkish coffee with milk. 
and that's how some people drink it. Most people drink it black and black with sugar, but we decided to get it with milk at this place because it was on the menu and just to see what it tastes like. I feel like a real Turkish person today going around drinking tea and coffee all day. So let's try the coffee. Ooh. Ah, it's burning hot. But the nice foam on there, it actually tastes like a latte. Very, very similar to how a latte tastes. I think I like it black better than with milk. The milk kind of cuts the coffee a bit too much. It's not a whole, it's not very strong. So uh, I kind of like the taste of the coffee. So I think next time, I don't think I'd get it with milk. Um, but it's nice to try and it is very frothy. The smell is great. Oh, it's tasty though. Let's try the tea out now. Again, look at the color on that. It's really nice. You can see some of the tea leaves from the black tea on the bottom as well. It's a little strong. This location is really nice because you can see we're outside. There's tons of tables outside. So here in Turkey, a lot of coffee shops, cafes, tea shops, they have seating for you inside and also outside. So you can see people all over the streets, all the cafes and tea shops and, and coffee shops lined with people outside and inside having tea and having coffee. And it's really nice because you know you can sit back, you can relax with your tea and your coffee and watch the world go by. just relax and let's have a little taste of this guy so this looks like a Turkish delight with peanuts in it mm. so it's cherry flavor with coconut bits on the outside and some peanuts on the inside mm. it really tastes good it goes well with the coffee I think and traditionally, with coffee in Turkey, it's always served with Turkish delight. Obviously, some places, you know, you have to pay more for it, but it's nice when it comes complimentary like that. Tea was eight lira, the coffee was 18 lira. So together, it's 26 lira, just less than $4 Canadian. So for what you get, it's a little bit more expensive. The taste, very, very similar. The, the coffee with the milk, the Turkish coffee with the milk, tastes very similar to a latte. So if you do like a latte, I would really suggest it. But personally, I would go with the black coffee with just a little bit of sugar because you get a little bit more of that coffee taste. All right, so we're done here. On to the next place, but I gotta go to the bathroom first before we hit up the next one because I'm, I'm about to explode. We're at another coffee shop now called Man of Batmaz. And this coffee shop is super cool because they make it uh, in a very traditional Turkish way and you can actually watch them making it, which is a really, really cool experience. So let's check it out. Okay, so our coffee and tea has just arrived, which is our about uh, Brazilian's coffee and tea today so far. Can't even keep track. We got the really, really special opportunity of actually watching it get, get made in the very, very traditional Turkish way. So we will take a sip and see how it compares to the other places.
Wow, that's actually really good. That's really, really good. All right, so another coffee down. And to be honest, this one was so good. Even the grounds that you get with like that last sip are pretty not too bad. They're pretty good actually. It's This one was super chocolatey tasting. So the tea and coffee here is a little bit more on the expensive side, if you could call it expensive. The tea is five Turkish lira and the coffee was I believe 13, 13 Turkish lira. So it's kind of in the middle ground for price wise to be honest. So we have a couple more places to try, so we will continue on and who knows, maybe we'll go all the way into the night because I have a feeling we aren't going to sleep tonight. So. So we're in an area in Istanbul called Galata, uh, where the Galata Tower is. And there's a cafe that we looked up, it's called Velvet Cafe. And there you can pick your own cup when you go for tea or coffee. So they have, I think, hundreds of different cups that you can choose from. So it should be a little fun, uh, different coffee adventure for us. So let's go. <laughs> So, looks like Velvet Cafe is closed. I guess we came on the one day that it's not open, so on to the next place. See, even when you're fishing off the bridge, you've got to have a tea to keep it going. Across the bridge we arrived at Mehmet Effendi which has a huge lineup around the block which we were pretty aware of because this place is so popular. Um, people just coming to get a coffee to go or actual grounds to take home that they've uh, roasted and ground fresh today. So we're gonna go get in line and grab a coffee and enjoy it in this busy bazaar. Let's go! Alright, so Mehmet Effendi here has been around since 1871 and they're such a popular institution in the area that they now serve coffee to over 55 countries and they're super well known all over Istanbul. So we were really excited to get a fresh cup of coffee right from the place itself and we had read on a bunch of different blogs and other places that that's what they do, you can go and grab a coffee from them. But interesting turn of events, turns out you can't get a coffee from them, you can just buy the fresh coffee grounds. So we spoke to someone inside the shop and they said that right across the street they are brewing fresh coffee with the grounds from Memon Effendi, so we're going to go there instead to try out coffee. So let's go. So we had a super long walk across the street, well, more like laneway, to get our Mehmet Effendi coffee. But it really worked out in the end because it's also a baklava place. Um, so we've got ourselves a little portion of baklava too, which it all looks really, really delicious. So this will be an extra special treat to finish off the day.
everything's arrived now. We've got our coffee, our tea, our baklava, which looks absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to take a bite of. Looks like it's full of pistachio, so that's gonna be delicious. But what you're all waiting for is the coffee. So as you can see, it's still got that really, really nice foam on top. Looks really rich. So I'm gonna give it a taste and see what it's like. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, that one's quite strong. It's got the nice foam and the froth on top. You can taste all the grounds swirling around, so that adds to the flavor. I'd say it's not quite as chocolatey as some of the other ones that we've had today. Well, that's fine. Mm. That's really nice. It actually has a bit of a different flavor to it than some of the other teas in terms of a, in terms of a black tea. It has a bit of a different flavor. Let's dig into the baklava. Mm. Wow. That amazing. <laughs> There's so much pistachio in there. So for the coffee, tea, and baklava, it costs 30 Turkish lira, which is about $4 Canadian, which is a really, really great deal, especially to what we would pay for something like this back home. So for what we got and the quality, there's just no comparison. Overall, our coffee and tea tour around Istanbul was a jittery success. Everywhere we went to had really great tea, really delicious coffee. Uh, Manabat Mads, I'd say, by far had the best in terms of uh, quality, taste, price, and preparation, the way they did it in a very, very traditional Turkish way. So I'd say they definitely take the cake for the best place that we went to today. If you enjoyed our cafe hopping adventure today, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos and adventures like this one. We will catch you next time, at which point we will most likely still be awake. See you guys later!